I've got ready for the day I am going to clean up the bathroom a little bit a quick wash for this makeup remover it's been working amazing I've been using it for eight months or so and it truly really just removes all the makeup without any product It's been a little bit over a year we started to remodel this house and the next project will be this bathroom which I'm looking forward to and <laughs> this sink has seen better days as you saw yeah, it's pretty much chipped it's very hard to clean so I'm looking forward to replace those starting with the morning routine and I have blends for this kitchen we're going to have some project just to make it look more cozy and more functional a hard time to eat lettuce and just generally any salad so for my vegetable intake I really like to create either a soup or I love making stir fries
drinking an infused water it helps me to drink more because I have a hard time to drink just a plain water but if there's a little flavor to it I'm more willing to drink The boys got home late at night the previous day so that's why I had a breakfast earlier and when I don't want to cook that many side dishes I just like to reach to raw vegetables like a little bit of a radish, tomatoes, avocados. I'm preparing for the lunch. I'm wrapping some asparagus into some bacon. It will be ready to use. I just have to pop it into the oven. And these two complement each other so nicely and it helps with the vitamin absorption from the vegetable. And I have some leftover bacon. I'm going to just wrap some mandoa dates in that. And that's going to be an amazing snack. adjusting to this bar soaps to wash the dishes really well and I just ordered more and it equals one soap bar one bottle liquid dish soap when I tried it to use it with brush that didn't work for me because it was just taking too much time to wash the dishes but with this special rag that I have and I have the link down below in the description box it's foaming so nicely and I love that it doesn't dry out my hands There are a few things on my list on the daily basis that I like to keep up with and one of them is the floor so now <laughs> well that's behind the couch so I gathered more there <laughs> but mainly on the high traffic areas I like to clean it on the daily basis and I'm just changing the locations some days I'm cleaning more in the kitchen the other day in the dining room but one thing is for sure if I keep the floor as clean as possible and I'm not saying we have a perfectly clean floor but I'm maintaining it then it's less dust that is settling on everything else so I don't have to dust that much in return We put up some string lights over the winter but now we are actually fixing it and make it better. We are using a wire to make it more straight and more stable.
always wanted to make some dumplings and finally I was able to find the thing that I need for that to create that shape so now I want to try a bunch of different things with that although a side note <laughs> I should have thought that earlier but this is gonna be a very time consuming to make for two teenager boys <laughs> so I started to make them and then I eventually with the leftover I just fry them as is so that's one thing to consider I need to get um, ahead of the time at least mixing the meat in the morning and the dough so that way we can be more efficient <laughs> the side dish was very helpful that it was already done and i just had to pop it into the oven This is a joke. This is this is a joke. The cottage that I screamed at is gonna be blurry. There you go. Okay, so this is not an orange. Yeah, it's not an orange though. Kong Kwa. Yeah, this is Kong Kwa. Kong Kwa. Kong Kwa. Kong Kwa. Kong Kwa. And then this is a blue one, not orange. I like to store the leftovers in glass containers either just simple jars or the swilling system I really love those um, containers so much because it extends the life of the food five times longer won't stop for traffic lights and I We had this awkward empty space on both sides of the window and I thought adding some wooden shaft will be very useful and nice. I can easily reach for the things that I need and also I think it just made it more cozy. Joat was so sweet to make these shafts and we have one on one side and he's going to make another one on the other side. Hungary, where I grew up, it's a very common thing to do this nukedli, which is kind of like a noodles. We hardly ever follow a recipe for that, we're just going for the texture that you have seen, <laughs> and that's how we make it. 
even in cookbooks they refer to that kind of texture if they want to explain it to you how hard the pasta should be you should have a look at the texture <laughs> So the first step after I shred the cucumbers, I put so many salt on it that it will let go all of the juice that can make the stomach upset. So while it's soaking, I'm going to prepare actually the same exact mixture that I shared with you previously for the cold hot dog salad. And I'm going to use the same things and once the cucumbers I'm letting go of the juice I just squeeze them out and I'm going to put them into that vinegar mixture. Looks like the boys have so much fun with their friends and finally the weather is nice too. They are going to eat a little bit later. Closing the day with the last cleanup in the kitchen and after that I'm logging off. I'm done. <laughs> so whoever are going to make a dirty dish that will just clean up after themselves. But once I clean up the kitchen like that, I'm not walking back unless I want to eat something. <laughs> believe we have a day with the sun <laughs> so I'm just gonna go outside for five minutes and it's going to help me so much 
we are biologically wired to sync up with the sun so our bodies produce melatonin when the sun goes down to help us sleep and then reduces the chemicals when the sun comes up it is very important to get exposed to the sunshine during the day but in the morning it's even more crucial much for watching until the end and i will see you guys next week with the chef result <laughs> bye